Hey guys, welcome back to the Arsenal Career Mode, start of season three. If you guys watched the last episode, you'll know I didn't want to pay Aubameyang 300k a week at age 32, so we let him go. We didn't sign him back. His replacement, Chucky Lozano, Irving Lozano from Napoli, the Mexican left winger. Looks like an absolute beast, way younger than Aubameyang, same overall. He's going to do just a fine de- fine job. Declan Rice, the next signing from West Ham. Youngster from West Ham. A lot of promise. Uh, Gunduzi, by the way. Uh, we put him on loan. So we needed a midfielder. That's where Declan Rice comes in. We finally got a really good center back to replace Socrates. We got Daniele Rugani from Juve. Juve have like the four best center backs in this game. They're not going to miss Rugani at all. And then backup striker from Lille, Victor Oshiman. Uh, found him just in my scouting report. He looked pretty good, fast as hell. We needed a true backup striker, some depth in that position in Ketia and Martinelli. I sent them out on loan. They're just still in the high 70s. You know, we need depth in the striker position. Lacazette's getting old. I honestly don't even think I'm going to sign him back if we make it to next season. Uh, this season started off against West Ham. And right away, uh, we're on the attack here 20 minutes in. And Lacazette's going to push forward. And right away, a shot rebound. Chucky Lozano's going to make an impact from the very beginning. 20 minutes into his debut, he scores a debut goal. Everything's looking good for the Mexican lad. We win that game. We were off to a good start. We are gonna we want to aim for higher than fourth place this year. I mean, last year was fourth place again. Uh, at least we're getting top four, but we're just consistent in the top four. You might as well call us Arsene Wenger because that's all we keep doing is just getting top four and not even getting close to winning the league hopefully we can win the league this year that's Victor Oshiman by the way that's his first goal for Arsenal made his first start against Burnley nice fake shot turned the defender weak foot smashed it past the goalie and the defender sliding in there would have been pretty cool if the defender cleared that off the line but no chance no chance uh, but anyway yeah we're trying to get you know at least close to winning the title this year we have a really good team on paper and i want to win it i'm tired of being just fourth place in the champions league i want to get a trophy we keep losing in the fa cup final too hopefully we can win that this year I want to win as many competitions as i can i keep losing all these finals i got in uh, the two fa cup finals lost them both in the league we're barely snuck fourth place two years in a row we got to improve on that we just lose a lot of big games uh we win some of the big against some of the big teams lose against the small teams and then we lose against the big team it's just a cycle that keeps repeating and we're never going to win the league like that champions league first team in our group was red bull leipzig uh we had leipzig as you can see there psg and then aek athens a pretty tough group uh definitely not easy by any stretch lacazette gets us off to a good start though in the group stages now, if you guys haven't been watching this series, I play one game against every team in my group. That's how we do the Champions League. And then in the knockout stages, I only play the second leg, sim the first leg. Uh, just leave it up to chance. But anyway, yeah, we keep going on here. Only 17 minutes in this. Pepe just dribbling by. Everyone smashing it past the goalie. Easy goal. He just pretty much walked by everyone and smashed it home near post. We win this one. Great start to our Champions League journey. North London Derby time. This one in Tottenham. Again, this would be a big win. We're off to a good start so far in the Premier League. And it's always good to be off to a good start. Because if you fall behind in this league, and especially in this FIFA, there's just teams that don't lose when you sim. They just don't lose at all. So we need to keep our foot on the gas pedal and keep winning. They're going to strike first. Oh, no, they're not. Nice save by Leno. Beautiful save. Had me fooled, and I even played the gameplay. I forgot they didn't score there. Van der Beek, what a shot that was from outside the box. I love this guy. You know I love Donny Van der Beek. He's amazing. He's probably the best signing I've ever made in any career mode. I just love playing with him. He scores all the time. We won this one, one nil. We scraped by and won this game. Next game in the Champions League, we got AEK Athens. Should be a cakewalk, but cakewalks for us usually don't go as planned. Playing most of my second team in this one. Uh, I still got to get them game time. I'm struggling to find my second team guys some game time. Look at this, by the way. They sweat. They got so sweaty on me to score that one. I don't, don't know where my defense went. 
And then again, the defense collapses. I, like, what was that? What was that? I don't know what that was. Defense collapses. Atkins is Athens, excuse me, is up 2 0 at halftime. Unacceptable. And we don't even score a goal all game. We lose at home to Athens. Unbelievable. Totally unacceptable. I, I probably in the fucking hot seat. I'm probably going to get sacked before this year is over. Uh, I, I got to redeem myself in the league, most likely. I mean, the Champions League's not over. We, we should still go through that group, but I, I think I'm in the hot seat. I'm on thin ice because I'm not winning competitions. This is Chucky Lozano. Beautiful finish, by the way, against Man United. That tied the game up. 1-1 right before the half there. But yeah, I, I mean, I, I feel like the board's going to be done with me soon. I keep not winning anything. It's a beautiful cross. Hector Bellerin to Ceballos. We go up 2-1 on Manchester United. Still off to a strong start in the Premier League. Got to keep the momentum going. Leno, what is he doing? He pushes that out. Right to Manchester United. Uh, 2-2. We blew this one. We could have had all three points. And then, bam, goes down. Chucky Lozano goes down. I'm not good at penalties whatsoever in this game. Aubameyang's gone. We got to find a new penalty kick taker. I had it between Lacazette and Pepe, and I just chose Pepe. He actually had better penalty stats, but he missed that one. De Gea saved that one. All my penalties get saved. I don't know what to do. I mean, I feel like I have good penalties, and they still get saved. It's just ridiculous. We tied 2-2 that game. So we're, we're already starting to drop points. Liverpool in Anfield. Got to come up with a win. But, I mean, i got to be honest. I'll take a point here at Anfield. It's never easy. There's Oshiman. Look, doing some moves. That's left foot. Scores again. He scored a goal like that with against Burnley. He's pretty good. This Oshiman guy. Fake shot again. Left foot. But he's pretty good. This Oshiman guy. I like him a lot. And this Pepe on a breakaway. He's going to finish 2-0. Puts us up 2-0 early. Off to a flying start. Anyway, yeah, that Oshiman guy is not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, he's the backup striker now. He's going to have to compete to be a starting striker next year. I think Lacazette is probably on his way out. He's getting old. He's losing overall. And Oshiman keeps going up. I think by the time this video ends, he's up to 84, I believe. So hopefully by the, when the season's over, he'll be in 85. That's definitely good enough to earn the starting striker job. I just don't think I'm sold on him. I think I want someone just a little more world-class, especially next year. Because if we don't win anything next year, that's definitely going to be it. If there even is a next year, like I said, I might be in the hot seat. We almost blew. Did you see that passing, by the way, for that Liverpool goal? It was absolutely beautiful. We almost blew that whole game up 2-0. But Van de Beek saves us again. We win this one 3-2. That was a big win. Huge win on the road. Kind of kept our Premier League streak you know, back up there. As you can see in Group D, though, we dominated me and PS us and PSG 4-0-1 into the group going into it. So the winner of this game will win the group. All the Sim games turned out as planned. The only game I lost was to Athens. So we're at home in the Emirates against PSG for the top of the table in the group stage. And Lacazette firing one with his left foot through he's been showing up in these champions league games as you can know he hasn't scored in the premier league for some reason i kind of just noticed that now uh doing the voiceover for this video he really doesn't score in the premier league but he shows up in champions league look at that move by chucky lozano finessing that in the corner that's beautiful i love this signing another great signing i love van de Beek first and then lozano they just i love playing with them they're fun players to play with 2-0. We have this one in the bag, it looks like. 83rd minute, 84th minute is Julian Draxler kind of dribbling by everyone. He gets taken out in the box. That's William Saliba. He's pretty solid, too. Great youngster in defense, but he's just not world-class. And then look at this Neymar pen. Leno off the post, and then it hit Leno in the back of the head on its way down. You'll see on this replay in a second. Hits the post, and then hits Leno's arm. They actually ruled that an own goal, if you believe that one. So it went to an own goal against Leno, not a goal against Neymar. But, I mean, whatever, it doesn't matter. We win that one 2-1. We finish top of the group in the Champions League. Always, always good to do. Let's go back into the Premier League now, where we've been red hot. we got to keep that streak going. We got into a little tough stretch here. Man Manchester City's up, and I believe it's Manchester United up next. We're playing all the good teams in a row, so this is a... 
good time to shine. Liverpool, then Man City, and then I think Man United is next after this. But they get off to the first start here. one nothing. 84th minute. We're coming back. That's Oshiman somehow misses a golden chance. I mean, that would have been it. And then look at this goal from, oh my God, De Bruyne. That was just beautiful. There's no chance on that. Aubameyang celebrating like a little bitch, celebrating against the old Arsenal fans. He's just mad we wouldn't pay him. But whatever, fuck him. Anyway, next game up against Chelsea. This is what I mean against this tough stretch. We had Liverpool, Man City, now Chelsea. Uh, Chucky Lozano's going to pat that down. He's going to find in a cross, and that's beautiful. That's Lacazette. I guess he is scoring in the Premier League. That's a nice goal from Lacazette. Off to a nice little start. 72nd minute, though. That's Kovacic powering that one home. And defense is still not good. So we got Luis Felipe and Rugani in the back. And Rugani has been okay, but he really hasn't made a difference I thought he would, especially replacing slow Socrates. Super slow. I complained about him like every video so far. Finally glad he's gone. And I really don't feel like he's made a difference, to be quite honest. I think we're going to need someone else. Maybe Luis Felipe is the problem. I don't know. Um, but I know Daniel Jones just ripped us apart there. Beautiful goal. There's Oshiman going to send it into Van de Beek. He's going to hit it off the volley to tie it right back up. This is Manchester United. A lot of hard games in a row, like I was saying. Uh, but yeah, Luis Felipe, I think, has got to go. Rugani makes a lot of mistakes, too. It's not really like I thought he would be great. I thought he would make a big difference. I really haven't seen that much of a difference between him and Socrates. It's kind of sad. That one there just struck it past. Lano Lano didn't even move. He had no shot. And then they score another one. United to go up 3 1. We're going to lose to Manchester United. This is Reese Nelson, by the way. Look at this goal. He just mugged everybody off, finessed that one in. And he needs more play time, Reese Nelson. He definitely does. I won't, won't disagree there. But yeah, that'll end this episode these highlights we started losing towards the end there we dropped into fourth place we were first for a while after 21 games 15 4 and 2 is not bad we are seven points off first place man city but we were right there until the very end we started dropping all those points now we're seven points behind at least we're in the top four now only four points off second place like i said seven points off first we can do this it's still possible hope you guys enjoyed that episode you'll you guys will see the end of season three in the next episode please leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks